Today, we're going to make a custom dashboard using custom reports in HubSpot. And this is going to be using all data that is available to you in your CRM. On it, we're going to be focusing again on our marketing activity. And we're going to be looking at last year as kind of our time frame. This is going to look at contacts that we're creating. We're going to look at MQLs that were created last year. We're going to look at our deals we created. We're going to break down those same categories, leads, MQLs, and opportunities by their number of page views. We're going to look at what pages they're bringing uh, or they're viewing when they come into the site. We're also going to break this down by month as we go. So to start, I'm just going to flip in to this chart or this pie chart here. And I'm going to hit customize so you can see what we use to create it. So on this breakdown by, I'm using a property called original source, and this exists on every contact record that's in your HubSpot CRM. When you create a contact, whether it's from a form submission, from an email being copied, um, from someone manually typing it in, there's going to be a source attached. So in the case of our marketing source leads, if you're coming from uh, social media channels, if you're coming from organic search, that data is going to exist on that organic or that original source property. We're going to break that down by the count of contacts. So that's a measure right here, this count of contacts we have set here. We're picking a pie chart as our type. And then with our filters, we don't have anything set up for the time being, which means I probably need to update this to last year. And hit apply. So now I'm changing and viewing this by just the past year. The colors here you can set in the chart settings if that's important to you. We've set you know some some colors up here by by changing them manually, and you can go in and do so. But again, you're just going to want to search for these and drag them onto the chart. So I'm going to update this one, and I'm going to head back to the dashboard and look at our next chart, which is our MQLs. So for this one, again, I'm going to come in and hit customize, and now here you can see. We're actually showing original source and the count of deals, which is incorrect. So we're going to change that to be the marketing qualified lead date. And put that on our filters here to say marketing qualified lead is last year. Hit apply. Ta-da. There is our breakout of how people are becoming marketing qualified leads. I'm going to hit update. And now come back to the dashboard. All right. So finally, then on this third pie chart, we're going to come in, we're going to customize this. And we're going to see that in this case, we're doing the count of deals rather than our count of contacts, because we're now trying to count how many deals were generated in the last year by sources. I'm going to come here and I'm going to again say our create date was last year. So this is only looking at contacts created last year who also have a deal associated with them. We're not looking at the deal date. We're just looking at the contact create date. So here we go. And again, we're breaking that down by the original source and the count of deals. Deals also have a property for source, um, but we're not going to use that one right on this report. But you can see there is an original source data for our deals, but it doesn't work that well when we're already reporting by the contact source. So we're going to leave that for contacts for now. I'm going to update and head back to the dashboard. All right, so these three are now up to date and match their titles. Now we're going to come in and check out this average number of page views. And I'm going to hit customize. So for this one here, we're doing it a little bit differently. Instead of using a pie chart, we're simply using this KPI, which is going to show us a number right out of the CRM. For the values, we're using the number of page views, which is a property. If you search for number of page views, you'll see that right here. And once you add it, you're going to hit this little edit and it's going to, you can give you know, a little drop down menu. And instead of some, we're using average right here. So you can set this to average and then we're grouping it by life cycle stage. So that's another property here. If you search for life cycle stage, 
you can add that to the group by. And our filters, I'm just filtering by what those different life cycle stages are. So we're only showing our leads, marketing qualified leads and opportunities. And you can see we have a really nice breakout of leads on average are viewing about three pages. MQLs are viewing a little over nine pages and opportunities are coming in at over 14 pages. So pretty much as you'd expect, the more engaged you are, the more qualified and farther down the funnel. All right, I'm just gonna hit update on this one and head back to the dashboard again. And now we're gonna look at our MQLs created by month. So I'm gonna go customize this chart. This one we're using a bar chart, which is this vertical bar right here. For our X axis, we're using a property called became a marketing qualified lead date. This is automatically set when you change someone's life cycle stage from lead to MQL to a marketing qualified lead. HubSpot will automatically set this with a date stamp. Um, but you can see that there is a marketing or became a marketing qualified lead date property right here. We have our count of contacts uh, as our, our measurement across the y-axis. And our filters, we're making sure that these are contacts that were created last year. Okay, update. And last but not least, we have the pages that these contacts are viewing. Let me move me out of the way. And if I come over and customize this report, you can see we're again using a bar chart, but this time it's the horizontal bars. And the property that we're using is this first page scene. That's a contact property that you can easily find. First page scene right here. <clears throat> we're keeping that same filter of contacts that were created last year. And then our, our measurement is simply our count of contacts. And there you have it. That is all the reports that we are gonna go through on this dashboard. Thanks for watching. Please reach out with any questions. Have a great 2023.